This is going to be less of a tutorial and more of a demonstration as to how to change the master client and how to um, know when the master client is changed and conditions when you may want to change the master client. So first, to change the master client is very easy. You just call photon network dot set master client and then you pass in a player. If you want to know when the master client has changed, you'd use public override on master client switched where you'll receive the new master client being set. I also demonstrated this previously while setting up the room UI. And if you're going to use on master client switch, don't forget that you have to use mono behavior pun callbacks as well. Times when you may want to change the master client is when their their ping or network response time is uh, significantly larger than the rest of the players. Another time is whenever the master client puts their game in the background. If the game's in the background and it's not running threaded, more often than not, it's probably not transmitting network data and that's going to cause a problem for all the other clients in your game. As far as the master client disconnecting, you don't have to worry about manually handing over master client when that happens because it will be done automatically. All right, so let's go over my class here. This is called master client monitor. You would want this running only once in your game. Um, so you don't want to instantiate it more than once. And basically what this does is it handles those, those conditions where you may want to uh, hand off master client. So it monitors the pings of all the other players and also locally if you are to uh, try and minimize the game or if you're on an Android and you can go to the home screen or whatever it might be, it will try to immediately hand off master client. You can find a link to this code in the description of the video. Also note, I have not been able to test this code. I looked over it several times and hopefully all is well. Uh, but it has not been tested yet. So if you happen to uh, test this out, let me know how it goes. All right, so let's talk about what each thing does. So we have a couple things going on here. We have the player ping, which tracks a photon player and their ping. It also tracks when the ping was last updated, and it tracks pings over time. And um, so in this case, it tracks a maximum of six pings, and then it can calculate the average of those six pings. Under update, I have check send ping, which uses an interval to send the ping as an RPC. And in this case, I believe it's every five seconds. So every five seconds, it'll send to all players, including this yourself, the, the client that is getting their own ping. And then it's adding or updating the pings in the player pings list. Now, you have to send your ping over a network for other players to get it because you cannot view other players' pings otherwise, uh, whether it's custom properties or RPCs. I'm using RPCs because custom properties use hash tables, and like I said in the past, those generate a lot of garbage collection. So next we have check change master. This basically checks if you are connected to the network, and if so, um, if you can try to take over as a master client. So there's a couple conditions which will skip this method and you're welcome to read through them uh, if you want to pause the video. But basically what it does is it goes through all current players in the room and then it finds their average ping as we've been storing them and it will find the player with the lowest average ping and compare that against the master client's ping. And if you happen to be that player with the lowest ping, it will check and see if the master's client ping is a set value above that. So let's say if the master's ping is 50 milliseconds more than the lowest player's ping, maybe uh, at that point you will request to be the master client. In addition, if the master client has not sent a ping in a reasonable time, then it will set the master client's ping as a ridiculous value as seen here. That way a um, takeover is imminent. Once this code determines that the master client is significantly laggier than the rest of the players or the lowest pinging player, the lowest pinging player will send an RPC requesting the master client. 
at which point the master client should respond to that and grant permission and that player will become the new master client. It also sets a takeover request time which brings me back up to the update method where I have check takeover timeout. What this basically does is if the master client doesn't respond within a specified amount of time after requesting a takeover, then the takeover is forced and the master client is set automatically without awaiting a response. This is just in case the master client goes linked in. And there are two more conditions which I talked about previously where if the application is paused or if the application has lost focus, in which case it will try to locally hand off master client, it will go through all of the all the current pings of the players. It will find the player with the lowest ping and then it will immediately give them master client. If for some reason the lowest ping couldn't be calculated, for example, the lowest ping returns negative one if a not, not enough pings have been received, then it just hands it off to a random player. And that's basically it. So you're welcome to download this, uh, modify it however you like, and hopefully you find a use for it.